everybody, this is BJ Massey. I want to congratulate you for making it to uh, video two. And this is the video where we're going to show the actual script and information that's going to be attached to the email you get when you join uh, to help you practice on how to recruit other network marketers into your business. So this talks about the process for calling network marketers. Number one, call existing network marketers and direct them to your website. For your initial first call, you use, you use the initial calling script for network marketers when actually speaking with a person. Number two, you use the answer machine script for network marketers when leaving a message on your first call. So it is an uh, answer machine script you're going to see at the bottom of this email as well. Three, after you call a network marketer and give him or her the information on the phone, always send a follow up email um, to send to the network marketer. So, you know, when they say they want to take a look at the information, you're going to send an email to them right then and there to take a look at the information. Four. Within 24 hours at most, call your prospect and use the follow up script for network marketers to either qualify or disqualify the prospect or give him or her another chance when you make your first follow up call. Always assume the prospect has reviewed at least some of the information to which you directed him or her to. Always assume. Number five. Use the follow up answer machine script for network marketers to leave a follow up with the prospect. Number six, if the, if the prospect has not reviewed anything, give the prospect one more chance to review information and calls and you have given given him or her. Do not give anyone a third chance. Do not chase anyone. Remember, we're not looking for everybody. Everyone does not deserve to be in our business. <clears throat> Number seven, <clears throat> never leave more than two follow up messages with a prospect. Do not chase anyone. Move on. And I'm going to go over something. I'm going to go over the script below. So. Um, this is the script. I, I mean, it's actually separated a little bit, but I'm going to go over our script, how we call these network marketers. OK, so I'm actually going to say the script of my own. I don't, have, I don't have to read this, but I'm going to say the script. OK, so let's just say a person name was Bill and I called Bill on the phone. OK, Bill answered the phone. I'm going to say, hello, Bill. Bill might say, hey, hey, who is this? I might say, my name is BJ Massey, giving you a quick call from my home in the Washington, D.C. area. Bill, the purpose of my call. I do believe in the past that you were once involved in the network marketing industry. I don't know if you're currently still active, but I was calling to ask you a real quick question. Is it possible at this time you might be open to taking a look at any uh, winning opportunities? And if your answer is yes, I just want to see if I can send you some free information. Now, what's going to happen? Bill's either going to say yes or no. OK, so let's just say Bill says yes to taking a look at the information. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Bill to get a pen. Right. Gap. Grab a pen. So I'm going to get a pen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, well, I'm going to ask him for his email address and I am going to send him the information I want him to review by email. Now, when I send before I send the information to Bill, uh, before I send it to my email, I'm going to say, are you in a position right now to take a look at this information? Bill might say yes. So if I send the information to Bill, I know I know the information is probably about what nine minutes long at the most. So then what I'm going to do is follow up with Bill within about 15 minutes. So that's what I'm going to say to Bill. So I'm going to say, Bill, so since you can take a look at it right now, information is probably about nine, between nine and 11 minutes long. I'm going to follow up with you within 15 minutes. I'm going to see if this business is a perfect fit for you. Is that a deal? Bill's my, he's going to say yes. OK, now. When I call Bill back up. All I'm calling him back up is to close him on this business opportunity. OK, so when I call Bill back up, I'm going to say, hey, Bill, ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, my peace people, Bill. Hi, this is Bill. Hey, Bill, this is BJ Massey. I was following up with you in information I sent you about uh, 15 minutes ago on the company I'm with called Laurel Life. So, Bill, did you have an opportunity to take a look at the information? Yes, I did, BJ. Now, I'm going to use a close on Bill called the temperature close. This is how I get people in. Bill, on a scale of one to ten, one being you're not interested at all, and ten meaning you're ready to go. How would you rate your uh, interest level uh, for joining the business? Let's say Bill said he's an eight, so I know an eight is pretty high, right? But if Bill is not a ten, that means Bill has some questions. So then, what I'm going to say is, what information would you need for me to push that eight up to a ten to get you started today? Whatever Bill tells me, I'm going to answer that question. And once I answer that question, I'm going to say, Are you ready to get started? OK, are you ready to get started now? 
when you get a prospect started, the lowest entry point that can come into our business is around the twenty some dollars a month because they can get the detox tea. But you will find a lot of other people who will order other products beside the detox tea because everybody's not interested in the detox. OK, so don't force a person just because they want to order something higher. Let people order what they want to order. But if people really can't afford. To come in for the higher levels, let them come in for the detox tea, which is twenty dollars a month, and we show them how they can start earning money if they want to order higher products as well. OK, now. Here's another thing that you might encounter. Let's say your prospect says. Um, how did you get my name and number? OK, now, remember, we have a system of leads of network marketers and we and, and we will have information on what company they were in. So this is what I tell a prospect if they say, well, how'd you get my name and number? I'll say, I have a system that connects me to individuals like yourself who have network marketing experience. And I was just calling you to see if you might be open to taking a look at any, any winning opportunities. And if your answer is yes, I would like to send you some free information. OK, what that does, that allows me to put myself back in a position of power to go on with my pitch to send the information to my prospect as well. Now, if a prospect tells you they're not interested at all, you move on. You're not, you know, you're not convincing anybody. But here's another a strategy to use. If a prospect tells you they're already in a network marketing company. I know on average, the average network marketer will probably be out of a company anywhere between 30 to 90 days and they're not making any money. This is what you want to do, folks. Also, write a, get a sheet of paper and write a list of network marketers who are also in other companies. OK, so this is what you're going to use as your advantage. When you follow up with a person with 30 to 60 days or 90 days, let's say they were in a company or X, Y, Z. OK. And you have that person or your follow up as a person who was involved in, in, in who, who, who's actually involved in the network marketing company. So this is what you're going to do. Let's say the person's name is Ted. You're going to call Ted up and say, hey, Ted, I'm hello, my police people, Ted. Hey, this is Ted. Hey, Ted, this is BJ Massey. I don't know if you remember me, but we spoke about two months ago. And at the time you were in X, Y, Z company. I'm calling to see if, if, if anything has changed. And if it has, are you open at this time to take a look at a winning opportunity? Ted might say yes, because times have changed. He might not be in a company anymore. Maybe he wasn't making any money. He might say no. Right. If he says no, at least you still got him on your follow up list to follow up with him. But if he says yes, then what you can do is now give Ted your information, because now Ted is in a different uh, a different time in his life where he's open to taking a look at something. OK, that's another strategy that you can use to also follow up with network markers. I want to I make something real clear. You have to be very, very consistent when you're calling leads. OK, do not get do not focus on the results, focus on the process, because if you do something every single day consistently, you will get results. You will get results, folks. And I don't know if every, uh, you know, I keep telling everybody that success is about consistency. OK, if you're consistent every day, you will get results. I know I keep repeating that, but that, that, that's that, that. I mean, that's the secret consistency. You're going to have some good days, you're going to have some bad days. But our job is to expose as many people as we can to our opportunity. And our job is to either recruit distributors or you might recruit or you might have people who become customers of our opportunity. OK, so this this uh, information, this script and everything is actually going to be attached to. The email when you get it so you can go over this. We're also going to have training calls to show individuals how to make these calls and make them live. We want to build confidence, everybody, because folks, I'm telling you. There should be no reason why you're in a business not making any money. The reason why you're not making any money, because number one, you're not applying the right strategy. Number two, you're not taking action. Too many people in this industry, they seek information. They want to learn this, learn that, read this, but read that. What good is all that if you're not taking action? Personal development without action equals nothing. Take action. Also, in this email, your welcome email, you're going to you're going to have. Um, other websites that you can send people to to take a look at. Our Laurel Light business, and you're also going to have the uh, the call, the call conference call number that we use for our training calls as well. Okay, this is BJ Massey. This is what I want you to do. I want you to practice the script, practice it. Get back with the person who invited you to the, our opportunity, which is one of our business partners. And also, as an incentive, what we're doing for all of our all of our business partners, we're giving you leads. Okay, you don't have to worry about the leads. We're going to give them to you for joining us in our business and teach you how to work those leads. This is BJ Massey. I hope this helps you. Bye for now.